Dubai, how are you doing? Welcome back to the Love and Daily, where I take you to the trap trending stories that everyone in Dubai is talking about. Is that a tongue twister every single morning? It is, and you will nail it. We take you to the top trending stories. Mm-hmm. For an Irish person, that's a lot of teas. <laughs> Why are Irish people not good with teas? Famously, no. Like, famously, if someone hears uh, you're Irish, they're like, oh, turd tree and a turd. Oh, <laughs> is it like because you guys see the teas with a little bit of an accent? I guess so. Okay. So it's a tongue twister. I try my best. Um, top stories today we're talking about the man dancing in this viral TikTok video. On Dubai Metro, he has been arrested. Dubai Police posted it. We're going to talk a lot about it and get your opinions. We're also talking about the fact, is it time for an influencer boxing fight in Dubai? Ooh, it depends on who the influencers are. And the fire that broke out in al Quds spread to al Rami Automotive. We'll be talking more about that. And travel to 19 holiday destinations this summer will be quarantine-free. That is... The music Incredible to so many people's ears. 100%. Like the fact that we're able to go to 19 countries and not quarantine. I didn't think the day would come. It has. Well, it's finally here. But there's a long way to go, honestly. Um, well, that day is here, but another day passed yesterday. <laughs> and speaking of getting out of the country and speaking about how sticky <laughs> it is. Oh God. What for you personally? We're going to talk about the fact that yesterday was June 7th, which was the beginning of the real heat. What <sighs> for you though personally yeah. makes you feel like the summer has finally hit you? Like, is there like a, an emotional or a body response that you're like, oh, mm. that's it? I think it's the hot, hot winds. When that wind, that hot gush just comes at you, like, okay, that's it. It's happening. Interesting. Mm. What is it for you? I have a few. One is when my phone stops working outside. <laughs> oh, uh, Android. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you. Does that not happen to iPhones? It doesn't heat up in the sun? No, oh. that's... Okay, Actually, fine. The shade to Android users is constant. <laughs> um, another one is when... You know when you just... Your back gets sweaty when you get outside. It doesn't happen in the winter. Does your back sweat a lot? In the summer, yeah. Yuck. <laughs> Luckily, someone doesn't sweat. And also, I used to wear glasses and even, just, yeah, glasses fogging up outside. Uh, is yeah. one, that's the big one too. Yeah, yeah, 100%. You, you're indoors and it's, do you wear reading glasses or just I like your sunglasses? I used to, but I don't anymore. Yeah. When I moved to Dubai, I cut that because it was too frustrating. It is the worst for those who wear glasses. It's like you walk outdoors and you're instantly blinded by the fog and you just have to like keep wiping it and then comes back again. I don't know. It's just annoying. Very annoying. Very annoying. That's yeah. summer. So later in the show, we're going to talk about the 19 places you can travel to quarantine free. This does for most people mean that you need to be vaccinated. So I know that travel to certain countries, you have to have that double vaccine and it depends on the vaccine that you have. But let's jump into our first story. The man dancing in this viral TikTok video on Dubai Metro. He has been arrested. This story captured everyone's interest yesterday when we shared it on Instagram. We got a lot of comments, a lot of responses. mixed bag of feedback really um, an Asian man has been arrested on charge of committing a public indecent act after a video of him dancing on Dubai Metro went viral on TikTok and then Instagram and then WhatsApp and all of these places where videos go viral uh, Dubai police reported the case stating the man disturbed other passengers with his inappropriate actions and the force took action after the video started circulating on social media platforms with the man showing disrespect and insensitive behavior toward the people around him. That's according to Brigadier Obeid al Habuth, that's Director of Transport Security Department at Dubai Police. Now this man has been, uh, he could face at least six months in prison and or a fine of 5,000 dirham. So I just want to state that a lot of people thought that he was arrested because he wasn't wearing a mask, but just reiterate, he was arrested for disturbing other people. indecent and a disgraceful act what were some of the comments could you please read them i'm M- so intrigued a mixed bag really um, because i think on uh, first view a lot of people thought hmm he's just dancing yeah um, so the the comments that leapt out at me at first were saying look the poor man was only having fun i'm sure others would be getting entertained as well um, someone said it's upsetting to see he was just trying to bring a smile to other people's faces but then you go deeper And you get the reasoning as to why this happened. Um, so Yunus Albushi, he said, look, this is in the middle of a crisis. Um, of course, I don't want people dancing, breathing near me. 
Um, someone else said, you can't just entertain people for followers. People are saying he was doing this for likes and followers. Uh, you have to think of the health concerns. He wasn't wearing a mask. Um, and then finally, and I think this is kind of uh, hitting the nail on the head, violating rules is not fun. Uh, dancing in a public train, disturbing others and having the risk of a virus yeah. contaminating others through not wearing a mask. And also, if he is not stopped, others will do the same. Yeah. I completely agree. Like, I agree to both the sides because... Mm. I mean, every story has two sides. And as a Metro user, I would honestly be both entertained at one point. And it, like, it, depending on the day for me, well, if it was a good day, like entertain, if I'm not carrying a lot of like luggage and all that stuff. But if it was an other day and I had to be pushed to a side to allow someone else to take up half the cabin to perform, and then that eliminates the whole thing of social distancing and you know not wearing a mask and all those violations, I would also be, you know, like, what is going on? Like... what is what's happening but um yeah it's honestly both the points but i'm i'm sure like if uh actions were taken against this the you know it was serious like what happened was must have been really serious for action to be taken against it well this is it you can see the photo if you're watching on our film production show on facebook and it's also on our instagram page dubai police posted this yesterday and You can assume they posted for a point. Um, yeah. They're making a point. We don't, uh, if you're new to Dubai, um, Dubai runs a little bit differently to other cities. You don't have buskers on the side of the street, something mm. which is very common in other cities. It's not allowed here. And that is kind of leading into it. Whether or not he was um, entertaining for social media, because there's a lot of te- people taking his video, or whether he was trying to entertain people potentially for money, whether or not he was or not, I'm not sure. But yeah. it, it could lead into this. And yeah. we know that that's actually not allowed in this city um, for the reasons that be. So I think uh, the main point is that they were saying he was acting disgracefully, dancing indecently. Um, so he could face six months in prison potentially and or a fine of 5,000. And it's worth knowing 3,000 of that fine would be because he wasn't wearing a mask. Yeah, I, I think the comments are just so always on so on point because they really reflect the sentiments of what people feel in all kinds from all walks of life. But um, Yeah, anyway, moving on. So the fire that broke out in al spread to Rami Automotive. Now, on Sunday, June 6th, a fire broke out in al area that spread to Rami Automotive. And the fire reportedly began at 11.09 a.m. And firefighters were at the scene just four minutes later. The fire spread to both Rami Automotive warehouses, but thankfully it was contained before it reached their workshop. No injuries or fatalities were recorded. And Rami Automotive's founder, Farid Saman, Uh, took to socials to release an official statement on the fire that both the warehouses, like that spread in both the warehouses, where he thanked the Dubai police and the civil defense for their timely response. And what he said was, um, it did burn our warehouse and our showroom, but due to the wonderful, wonderfully fast response and hard work of the civil defense and Dubai, Dubai police, they managed to stop it before reaching the workshop. Now, the founder added that their client's cars were all safe as they were evacuated by their team. And he also thanked everyone who reached out to make sure that Rami Automotive are doing well. And um, it's, it's uh, I, I think for a lot of people, this story must be really sad to hear because it's been around for 29 years, Rami Automotive, and they must have such a loyal uh, customer base by now. So, I mean, it's great to know that, you know, they've protected their clients' cars and that, you know, that loyalty towards their customers is always, you know, like the first thing that people think of, like when you have a business over here, people think of their clients before anything else. And this is just one story to prove that. It's um, amazing. Yeah, um, it's really nice. The video of uh, the owner releasing that statement. Um, We have it here. Simmer posted it. And... Like you said, they've been in the business for 29 years. Um, I think they do a lot of Jeep work because uh, a couple of friends of mine and uh, my boyfriend, they were sharing it around because their cars were there. Yeah. Um, but oh. usually with these fires, or their cars have been there at one point. Oh, okay. <laughs> but usually, <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> usually uh, with these fires, we see them and then you don't hear that much beyond it. This yeah. is the real human story of someone's business who's been, so you're so right, he was thinking about the customers, but also his business. went up in flames um, and like you said uh, some of the bits were effective but luckily they got the clients cars out um, but that must have been really hard for him and uh, yeah it's just nice to see the face behind it and hopefully that they're okay yeah true and not too much damage like the fire just seemed 
very tragic like it was a massive fire and that too like what, what you said is very true like we hear that it's uh, the fire has uh, broken out in a warehouse and that's it like you know we don't really connect to it you don't it. think about the people behind the fire yeah exactly like oh it's a warehouse it's not a residential area and all of that but it is someone's business it is people it is uh, resources that have gone into it manpower like so many things get affected and just because it's like oh, okay a small thing not that big it's, we forget about it but no it's you know like every Every person counts, every business counts, like it may impact someone's lives in such a big way. So it's great to see this story, like someone, the owner coming out and speaking about it and just reminding us that no fire is small. Mm-hmm. And this was massive. I'm like our DMs were <laughs> flooded with the videos of the smoke. Um, it started next door and then spread into Rami, Rami Auto- Automotive. I think you said that, but yeah, just this was a crazy, crazy one. Yeah. Um, so fortunately, no fatalities. And I think that's... Uh, Uh, so much to be said for the Dubai Civil Defence who, like you said, got there in four minutes. And um, moving on, is it time for an influencer boxing fight in Dubai? Yeah. Simran and Casey, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, the dust has settled on the Logan Paul Mayweather fight, but has the people's lust for blood been quenched? And that's what it is, <laughs> oh, right? It's oh my God. But this is what it is. Um, a social media star, Logan Paul, went head to head with Floyd Mayweather, who's one of the world's greatest. in an eight round boxing match with no, with actually rules attached. It ended with no knockouts, but the millions of people who tuned in, many of whom who paid uh, around the world <laughs> proves there is a go ahead in Dubai. And it begs the question, are we capable? Are there influencers here who'd be able to take part? Alibaba is nodding his head. Who should we go ahead, who should go head to head? Hmm, there's a lot of influencers. Oh, in yeah. Like, and I know for a fact that There, are, there is actual beef between influencers, like I'm assuming, but knowing <laughs> that I'm assuming. From YouTube, there's beef? Yeah, YouTube. from YouTube, YouTube. And that underlying beef, you know, like the ones that you don't say, but you feel it inside exactly. and then you see it, but you exactly. don't, they don't say it. Yeah. yeah, but then at the same time, it's possibly a business, so they're hardly going to, it's not going to be like, if they want if they want to have beef, then they can. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, it would be interesting, very interesting to see. Uh, boxing event in the I would want to see more vlogs and money kicks hide it out money, money kicks uh, we have a video of him boxing he, he is just with the first name that came to mind in terms of he has uh, been doing quite regularly like there's a video of him boxing recently but it's been constant he was in the army as well right was he a money uh, kicks he wanted to uh, basically you go to the military for a year okay 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 um, so let's see <laughs> Let the chips fall where they're made, but I think um, we have a lot of social media stars. We have the infrastru- infrastructure. It was going to happen with Logan Paul and Mayweather. Why not? We are the city of influencers. Let the big social media influencer fight happen in Dubai. Fingers crossed. Yes. Wow. Wrestling. Love that. It's, it's boxing. <laughs> boxing. Yes, yes. Is there a difference? Disrespectful there... sport. I meant boxing. I don't know. Do you know the difference between mascara and eyeliner? Eyeliner and yes, uh, I okay, know. fine. I have two sisters and a mother. I know. Men wear them too. <laughs> oh, true. I mean, these days, oh, Ali, cute, I'm looks nice. Wearing, Ali is wearing some, but it's fine. We won't talk about it on the show. But uh, moving on, you can <laughs> travel to 19 holiday destinations this summer, quarantine. free now flights are resuming and for a lot uh, pilots are being brought back borders are slowly and sh- but surely opening up and uh, countries are welcoming tourists once again so things are looking up and with that being said if you have been painted in wanderlust then your summer is definitely looking up as emirates will be flying to 19 destinations where you will not need to self-isolate so the list of countries include cyprus greece italy russia turkey Spain, France, France from June 9th, Jordan, Lebanon, Bahrain, Egypt, Maldives, Seychelles, Phuket from July 2nd, and Kenya, Tanzania, Morocco, the US, and Mexico. So Mexico will open from July 2nd. But a few destinations on this list will be quarantine free for those only uh, vaccinated travelers, but others will be open to all UAE citizens and residents. Amazing. Amazing. But that vaccination is key for travel to a lot of these destinations. So you still have so much time. Summer is like starting in mostly July, right? It starts in, from then. So you have an entire month to get vaccinated and then, you know, roll out your summer travel plans. Live your best holiday life, Kenya. 
Tanzania, Morocco, oh. Mexico. Zanzibar. Oof. Zanzibar is not on the list. Ah, okay, <laughs> 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 Zanzibar. Uh, <laughs> well, this is the Emirates list, and I know that flight. Uh, where did you say? Zanzibar. Ah, sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, Zanzibar. Okay, so travelers returning to Dubai, may I add, do not need to quarantine. However, those continuing to Abu Dhabi will have to follow the whole green list uh, rollout. And But however, if you are returning on in the vaccine corridor, things will be very different for you and that quarantine might not even be necessary. So the important thing here is if you can get vaccinated, definitely get vaccinated. And that is more of a pep talk to myself. Oh, it's just I, I don't know why I'm delaying it like why we need to have a long chat I think <laughs> yeah I'm there. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> that is why I should get vaccinated to catch up to you yes yeah because it, protected. you don't have it's not that you're against you just yeah done it yet. you just have not got yeah. the like time. I'd really like to just do it right now like, oh, vaccinate yeah. yourself woman but yes it will happen it will happen Should we put a timeline on this? Uh, no. On the show? Uh, no. <laughs> It's much pressure. I have a lot of pressure already. Casey, please, That's you won't get it. Timeline. No. No? We'll talk about it after this. <laughs> oh, no. I can tell her whatever they think. <laughs> Uh-oh. Let's not end the show then. We'll keep the show going on for some more time. Okay, so yeah. we can move on to uh, the latest banking updates. Um, yes, crypto. No, I think with the, with the travel updates, Um, we can be super excited about it. There's a lot of places to travel to. It's been a rough year and a half, but the fact that we can bring this news to you brings a massive smile to our faces. The fact that you can travel this summer. There are some countries that you can't travel to. We understand the UK haven't opened up there. We talked about that. We're still on the red list. But there are a lot of countries that you can. So if you need to get out of the country, if you need to escape the heat, you can. Just do it with all precautions in place. Know that these things can change every single day. Some countries yeah. will be open now and they won't be. So just proceed with caution. But hopefully everyone can have a um, enjoyable summer. Definitely. And it's great for business because a lot of them rely on travel and tourism. So it's just... Great. Everything is like it's slowly happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Just yeah. get that vaccine. Um, guys, thank you so much. This is it for us on the Love and Daily. Uh, stay safe. Wash your hands. Goodbye from me. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Adios, muchachos. <laughs>